Uh, technical difficulties as usual. <laughs> oh my god. Hello and welcome everybody to Phoenix and Glitchy have technical issues. Yeah, that's, we should just name it fucking Phoenix and Glitchy has to have technical issues because that's all we do. All um, we do, like for reals. So, anyways, today's video is. This video is about my fandoms that I would read fanfiction on. Because the last video we did, we were trying to cover both. And we just and had I too many good things to do with this. Um, so, Oops. I actually have a list of the most, like, I guess compelling ones that I'm actually, like, looking to read mm. right now. Mm. Um, I've recently gotten back into Final Fantasy VII Ooh. fiction because with the recent announcement of the remake, no. um, I've actually gone back and started playing it again. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm gonna preface this by saying I usually prefer things guy with guy on guy. Um, and I actually kind of have a, a thing for Sephiroth and Cloud together, even though it's kind of cliche and a lot of people would give me shit for it. Um, second on the list is Game of Thrones. Now, you might want to pack a lunch because I have a lot of interesting things for Game of Thrones. <laughs> Um, I have Twinkies. Mmm. Minion Twinkies, right? Yeesh. Mm. They just have minions on the box. I don't know if there's any minions in like the... That'd be really cool if they looked like actual minions. Dude, now I have to open it and find out. <laughs> Let me preface this by saying I don't make any money, I'm not being paid by Twinkie Company or any hostess or whatever the fuck. I just wanna know Nick. if there's minions. You know they have minion Tic Tacs too, right? They do. Yes, and they actually look like little tiny minions. No, that's too fucking. That's too. That's <laughs> fucked. No. Um. Anyway, with Game of Thrones, I have quite. Oh, a side note, real quick. Have fun and enjoy watching Glitchy make terrible, uh, technical difficulties with a fucking box of Twinkies. Hey. <laughs> um. I really have a thing for Jamie Lannister because. Nikolaj Custer oh, Valdau is fucking oh hot. God. They do! They do! I'm gonna cut my video! I'm gonna cut- Okay, look, 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 have the videos on. I'm gonna cut my video on- or my camera on the, uh, actual video here, but you can still hear me. I'm gonna turn it on. Here. Hug, <gasps> Phoenix! Oh my god, they actually put- They uh, have their names! They have their oh names! Oh my god! Kevin! Stewart! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, where's Dave? Is there no Dave? Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> and yet again, we've gone on the tangent. Sorry about it, folks. Sorry about it. Got excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Turning the webcam, or turning the camera back on. on. Hello, everybody. What's up? Okay, okay, so, um... Do continue, please, I'm sorry, I was rude. <laughs> I have a thing for Jamie Lannister, I gotta say. I'm not um, gonna lie, he is kind of attractive. I also like... I, I got a one. real big thing for Oberon Martell. Oberon was they great should, before they popped they his fucking head like a damn pimple. They shouldn't have fucking killed him off. No, fucking no. busted his head like a fucking tomato. Um, I also really like Dario Naharis. Both actors that played him, actually. Though I like Dario? The one that is... Oh, the South uh, Sword with Daenerys? Yeah. I knew they changed actors. Boners won't believe me. Yeah, they actually did. They changed actors. Because the original actor was Rockstar. And they had a tour. And he decided that he didn't want to do the role after the first season. So they changed it. But I like the guy they, do now, they have now better. I like him too, but... I didn't like that they changed it. I didn't know why they changed it, but... I also have a thing for, and I don't know why, because he's really thin, um, and not normally my type, but I like the prostitute, I think his name is Olivar. Is that the one who betrays the... Loris? Uh, yeah. Fuck him. When, and I like Loris, too. I'm not which, gonna lie, I kind of like Littlefinger. The actor, not the character. Yeah, because Littlefinger is real fucking gross to me, like, in a, in a skeevy sort of way, not well, like... Well, he's gross as a person, too, considering how obsessed he is with 
Sansa and uh, fucking Sansa, yeah. Catelyn. Oh. I'm eating a Twinkie on camera, guys. Deal with it. I'm hungry. Um. Uh, okay. Ah, moving so on. Like Five thirty in the morning. Yeah. Moving on from Game of Thrones. Um. Another recent obsession, which you've already heard about this in previous videos, is oh. Penny Dreadful. Mm, mm, mm. And I would fucking kill for some Dorian Gray, or maybe. Maybe some Malcolm. Well, actually, any of the guys. Yeah. I, I, I'd be I'd be okay with it. See, that's I, a funny thing. I'd fucking marry you. I don't care <laughs> any of them. Um. No. Preferably, preferably with gender bent versions of the female characters, because I'm not really I would into love the. To see Eva Green as a man. I think she would be a fucking gorgeous man. Like, mm. I think she would be gorgeous as a woman or a man. Just say it. Mm. Um, and she's not like, you know, classically pretty or anything, but she's very pretty, mm. I think. Um, okay, now, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I have two major, like, quote-unquote ships that I really like. Captain um, America! Steve and Bucky. I don't know why, it's fucking cute. I just Everybody love. does. Everybody loves um, them. and I have a thing for Loki and Thor. But I'm not sure why. Like, Thorky, Thorky. I'm not really sure why, because they hate each other most of the time. But Honestly, like, yeah, but I feel like they would hate fuck each other. Yeah. I mean, another drink. Here. I just kind of want to see like some really cute fluff with like Loki and Thor bathing together. I have like seen cleaning some. each other's hair. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Their hair. <laughs> They're like, like watching have... each other's hair. I don't know. Oh no. I broke Bob! Oh no! I, I was trying to keep the rapper safe, but like, I. Hold on, we're gonna turn off the camera again. So Alex, or Phoenix can see. Oh no, you broke it! Oh broke my it. god! <laughs> You're splitting down the middle! I did! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Bob, I'm sorry. Oh my god. He looks so funny. excited about it too! Um. Sorry, yeah, he does. He looks excited. He's like, you broke me. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, I love minions. Yeah, me too. They're like my fucking favorite. Queen Do Queen not Queen. write me fan fiction for minions. I, I swear to God. There's literally a... <laughs> listen, listen to me, Alex. There is a deviant art page, group page, dedicated to minion yaoi. That's just gross. And there's also a fucking <laughs> subreddit about it. I did not read any of it. But I have seen some of the pictures. That's just nasty. Like people put minions with Gru, and like other people, and we're sitting there like. Ugh. You see this face? This is a face of horror. <sighs> um. But yeah, Loki and Thor and um, Steven Bucky are really the only ones that I like. Really careful. Although Iron I do, Man. I recently have had a thing for like Loki Steve, where like Loki dominates Steve. It's really weird. It's um, really good. I have seen some of that. I've also but seen. I like it. I've also seen Iron Man and uh, Steve fanfiction, and I, I I find them to be very cute together, and I like that. I like. Dr. Banner and Loki fanfiction. I've, I've read some of that. It's pretty good. I've read some um, Het, theme, um, Het Loki fanfiction that's also been really good. And um, there's one in particular. Bitch, if I could remember your name, I would cut, call you out so fucking hard right now. Because you didn't finish your fucking shit. I hate you. I have actually recently read some Thor and Loki fanfiction where Loki had, a, had both a dick and a vagina. And that was kind of interesting. Oh, I meant hetero. hetero like... Oh, I know. I was just... Oh, never mind. Okay. I was just a side note. I thought I said Hermaphrodite by accident, but mind you, I do like Hermaphrodite fanfiction as well. Um... I like a lot of shit, honestly, people on weird. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of I have my moments of, like, really fucking kinky shit, and it kind of scares me sometimes, and it's like... Uh, if we want to talk about... The most kinky I will admit to, openly admit to, is my werewolf. Like, fully transformed werewolf fucking a human. Yeah, that's about as kicky as I'll get into. Although, I'm not really a fan... I'm not really a fan of werewolves in general, because I kind of feel like... 
they're kind of overdone because there's not really a whole lot you can bury on them, unlike like like vampires and witches, where you can do like nine thousand different interpretations of them. Um, I've just never been into werewolves. I don't know why. I I will read I'm werewolf fiction. I'm gonna sit here yeah. and just look at you like, bitch. Did you just say werewolves have been overdone? I know. I know. Oh, it's... Vampires. vampires. I, I know. I know. Don't even I'm fucking just... start with me. We go I... fight. And I'm just. Bitch, better that... have my money. Um, <laughs> that's just my opinion, though. I've never been one for werewolves, really. Anyway, I will watch all kinds of, you know. Werewolf stuff if they're like in something that I'm already watching, but I don't really go out and like read books solely about werewolves. It's just not something. I've never really found. Oh wait, yes I do. I have some. Never mind. I'm stupid. Shut up. Um. Good stuff about werewolves. But mostly, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of actual novels that have been written that feature werewolves occasionally. But I do have a few that are, you know, werewolf series. I can't remember their names. And, you know, it's some good stuff. There is this one fanfiction I read that was... Or not fanfiction. It was an actual novel. It was worse than Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, man. I read so many bad ones. And it was an actual novel. Like, you could buy it off of Amazon. And you... I bought one off of Amazon that was a gay porn parody of... Oh, please don't. Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, and I didn't know it was a parody until I bought it. Honestly, I think people who make parodies sh should shoot themselves. Not not well, necessarily kill themselves, but shoot yourself, <laughs> in, the, shoot yourself in like the leg or something because you're a just shoot idiot. yourself. Just shoot and yourself in the foot. I think that the scary movie shit. If we're talking about parodies, scary movies, uh, and the entire t entirety of shit that is spawned from those sets of movies. I like those movies. We can't be friends. It's a guilty we pleasure. Friends. We can't be friends anymore. It's a guilty pleasure, but I like parody movies. But I when don't. I buy... I don't. I hate them. I hate them. And when my boyfriend... Like, you, if you really want to piss me off, like, the quickest way to piss me off is is make me watch parody shit. And also, I'm going to really quickly hate on this, because I just thought of it. Big Lebowski is a fucking stupid-ass movie, and I think that it's is one of the stupid most goddamn stupidest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Fuck like you. It. Fuck you, Jeff Bridges, honestly. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you first... John... John, big motherfucker, whatever your name is, I can't remember now, obviously, I'm stupid. But at the same time, fuck you too. Fuck you, Bushimi. You show big watery eyes and creepiness. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. Julianne Moore, you were fucking ridiculous in it. I fucking hated it, I hated it. I like Julianne Moore, it's not in that. I like Julianne Moore too, she's great, she's fine. Don't make me watch Big Lebowski ever again. My boyfriend made me watch Big Lebowski because he guilt tripped me and I fucking felt bad, so I fucking watched it and I fucking hated it. I still really want to watch Still Cut. Alice, but I know if I watch it, it's going to make me cry. So I've been, like, putting it off. I haven't watched it yet. Count how many times Glitch just said fuck. <laughs> that's, a, that's a new drinking game. Count how many times we say fuck in a video. You fuck, 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 fuck. Poisoning. Fuck, 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 fucking this, fucking that, fuck. Okay, back to the topic in hand. Yes. We're going to we're gonna go from the Marvel Cinematic Universe to another fandom that I'm really into. Supernatural fandom. Um, I, I I do ship Dean and Cassiel. I do ship them. I don't actually. <gasps> what? Do you do you wincest? Do you wincest? I do. I really do. <gasps> Dirty boy. I I started with the wincest all those years ago. It's actually the first fan fictions I ever read. Um, and it just sort of stuck. I have been actually dipping my feet into. Dean and Castillo. You know who I liked from Supernatural. Oh, Benny. Yeah, I liked Benny too. I've actually been reading, and this spawned out of the most recent season, Dean and Crowley fiction. <laughs> I might because read it. I might read it. Crowley. Because God. when because when Dean became a demon, it kind of put him into Crowley's territory, and I was like, you know what, I think- Crowley already obviously, like, was totally- Seriously, the fan service they have in this show, for all the, like, Supernatural fans, it's ridiculous. I feel like Crowley is trisexual, he'll try anything once. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, moving from Supernatural- to- Hannibal. Yeah, yeah. I I've already said, I only have one ship. There is only one ship in this damn show, 
Will and Hannibal. That that you just told her to. My ship is myself and Freddy's hair. I want her hair. Oh god. Fucking Freddy. Oh. I hate that bitch, that, but I want that her bitch. hair. That hair, that hair. That, that bitch. I, I, don't, I wanted... don't give spoilers. I told you I was still on season one. I wanted Hannibal to gut her in episode one. I did. <laughs> like, yeah. the first I was time like, I saw her, I was like, I like your hair, bitch, I hate you. I was just like, just, uh, push her in front of a moving car. Just stop. Um, okay, so this is a fandom that sadly most of our viewers are probably too fucking young to know what even is. Actually, no, we go for a mature audience. You might know what this is. What? Um, clear as folk. I'm totally oh, in. I'm totally into the Brian Kenny and Justin. Sunshine. Yeah, Sunshine. I literally only remember this little twink as Sunshine. I'm also into Brian and Michael, kind of. That's the professor, but, right? Or is that the no. dork with the dark hair? No, that um, been in love with him from the start. Michael is the dork. Yeah. Right. Now, the my quote unquote crack ship. That really, I don't even think, I'm probably the only one that's into it in the entire world. Um, is Brian and Ben, who is the professor. Ah. Um, yeah, we tried to write fanfiction for that. We didn't it didn't last very long. It really didn't. We, we kind of got like distracted. Yeah, we, we kind of got distracted. We got distracted by content, for one thing. Now, I will tell you this. Mm. Another one, and, and Queer as Folk kind of died as a fandom for a while. It's, I, I, it just sort of... I... I just it I don't know it kind of got too real for me and then that whole like the L word came out and I was like I'm done I really can't do this anymore I couldn't watch the L word because frankly it was all about lesbians and I need a dick in there somewhere I'm sorry I just do I'm, we're not hating on lesbians we're not hating no. on any sexuality it just no preferences hey, there you go. yeah it, it is what it is I'm I don't sorry like to, I, I don't like to see girl and girl fakeness okay that's that's plain and simple um, another fandom that has pretty much died out, which makes me sad, because it was awesome in the first three seasons, and then the rest kind of tapered off. Marlin. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it right away. I will read pretty much anything in the fandom with Merlin and Arthur together. I will also read most things with Merlin and the other knights together. The two knights that I really, really liked were... The big honking motherfucker, the beefy motherfucker. Oh, Percival. Percival. Yes. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And uh, the skinny one. Gwen? Do you have kind of longish dark hair? Like to his yeah, with, neck? With, yeah. With the beard? Yeah. Yeah, Gwen. Gwen. And um. I did a little bit like the, um, the blonde guy with the tight curls. Oh, um, Leon. Uh, maybe? Probably? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Leon. Um, uh, actually, speaking of, Merlin was one of the first um, shows that Godiards and I actively watched together. Oh, it, it was so good up until the end, and then they just sort of like he kind of shit brought on me the in in the middle of it, because uh, the place we were watching it didn't have all the episodes, and it wasn't pirating or anything. It was literally just a streaming thing, and um, we don't endorse pirating. Just saying. Arr. Arr. You may be a vast, although I do support Johnny Depp. <sighs> Johnny Depp. Anyways, what um, happened? moving on from Merlin, which I could talk about that show all day, because there was all sorts of shit wrong with the last season. But um, <laughs> the I vampire do not like Gwen's fucking moles. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, as the series went on, they made them more and more prominent. They like grew to the size of like dimes on her face. They really did, and it was it stressful. Was so much stress. Um, now another one of my favorite shows, and the next two actually kind of go hand in hand because they're spinoffs of one another. Hmm. Is the Vampire Diaries and the originals? I have not actually got to sit down and watch the originals. I stopped watching the Vampire Diaries. I think you would like the originals a lot better than the Vampire Diaries because the originals is a darker show it's a lot more mature and i don't have to deal with high school drama no and really the vampire diaries has gotten away from that it started out that way i but honestly think one of my main seasons. problems with the vampire diaries was a the high school drama and bullshit and b 
it just started turning out, you know, everybody was something. Everybody yeah. was something not human. And if they were human, they were food. Well, and see, that's kind of the way the show has stayed. There's like maybe three human characters in the series, like, ever anymore that aren't dead. Um, and, and there's a running joke that if they bring in a human character, how long before they either become a supernatural or be die? Right, right, right. It's kind of a drinking game. Like, somebody kills a human, take a shot. Like, really. Um, you drunk in the first, like, two episodes. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, the originals... Well, first of all, let me start with the Vampire Diaries. I would read anything with Damon and, like, any male ever. Because he's fucking hot. Like, Even crossover really? fanfiction. Yeah, I would. I, I've actually read some crossover Supernatural Vampire Diaries fanfiction Ooh, with man. with Damon and Dean, and that was like, huh. <coughs> I just um, on spit because I inhaled, I guess. Um, and actually, honestly, any of the guys in, in the Vampire Diaries I think I would probably be into. I don't care um, for the little brother. Oh, Jeremy, yeah. He actually gets better. Like, he like, gets really fucking hot. The werewolf the, guy? The, like, just, I'm not even talking about looks, I mean, personality-wise, for the show. Jeremy, the werewolf guy, who's like the governor or mayor's son or whatever he was. Oh, fucking Tyler, I didn't, yeah. Yeah, Tyler. I didn't care for those two. Tyler, for Tyler, one thing, treats women like shit. Jeremy's Tyler's just, a douchebag. So fucking emo. I did like Klaus. Um, Kla Klaus is not even only is better. He's gorgeous, but he's evil and genius and fucking amazing. Um, Klaus, is, Klaus is fucking reason enough to watch the originals anyway, because he's fucking hot. Um, his brothers, um, Elijah, also, yeah, Elijah, Elijah is so much better. Also, I like, like I said, I like Damon. Um, but then there's also my brother. I'm not. I'm not so into Stefan, his brother. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm so. not into Stefan. I don't. He looks way too much like. He's too. Him. He's too fucking emo. He's, he's just so. so he's emo. guilty. He's guilty about everything. Like, I honestly, and it was honestly, charming. I know, I know where I stopped watching it. I know where I stopped watching it. When you see Stefan go to that fucking old house that he, or apartment or whatever that he owns, and they open up a wall and it's literally got a list of everyone he's ever killed. Oh, that's actually in, like, season three. So you made it pretty far in. I didn't... I, I, I feel like the only reason I really did get through as far as I did was because I was writing stuff, not for the show, mind you, whilst I was watching it, and it was mostly I, background noise for me, and then I was I also would, doing other things. I would love to see what would have, if you would like it if we started you off in, like, season five, because that's where they really start to get away from the high school drama and, like, the love triangle thing, and they really start to focus on, like, I remember uh, good versus evil thing. I, Helena. I remember Elena and Damon getting together because Damon has some voodoo hoodoo power over people he fucking turns. Yeah. It was, it was only her, and it didn't last very long. They no, like, it, kind it, of it, it happened to that, um, that one chick who counts the bricks. Oh, yeah. It's actually rare in vampires. Like, vampires can't really do it mm. all that often, but it happened with, like, two people that he yeah, did it, it with. Yeah, exactly. And I'm sitting there um, like, uh... Which, that was kind of a plot hole in itself, because it he turns, like, six off different... The way okay. that the blonde chick... Caroline. Caroline. I hate Caroline, I swear to God. The way Caroline got so effing pissed off with Elena over who she was dating... Yeah, She that... dated Tyler. Yeah, my thing was stay, keep your own business. Mind like, your business, bitch. Mind your business. Um, but yeah, as far as the originals goes, there's a whole lot of, a lot of fucking hot ass guys in the originals, and I would pretty much read anything guy on guy oriented. Um, now we're gonna move to actually another one, another twofer, because they're really kind of connected to each other. Hmm. The the Flash and Arrow. <laughs> yeah, I w I will read some other. Uh... Fan I, I got, I got some, I got some hard on for fucking Barry, cause he's really just fucking adorable, so and, and, and he's actually kind of hot too. I, I can't deny that. I have um, more of a like. Hmm. I think Emmett, my son is, my eldest son is toiling around in his bed, hitting the wall. Oh my god. Um. 
I like Barry. I like Harrison Wells. He's actually really kind of hot. In an odd way. Yeah. Which one's that? The one in the wheelchair, sort oh, of. The, yeah, the reverse flash. Uh, yeah, I, the, I, I liked, I liked Spoiler. Silas. I like Silas. Uh, so you mean, uh, you mean, um. Uh, Did I say that wrong? You mean Eddie? No, not Eddie, the kid. Silas. It's the long black hair and. Cisco. Yeah, Cisco. <laughs> I was like, Silas? Am I missing somebody? What? Shit. I was confused. I got the name um. Right. God damn it. Oops. I, I would pretty much watch any of the guys with any of the guys in fucking The Flash. Um, as also, for Arrow... Real quick though, in regards to Guy and Guy, if you're gonna send us Guy and Guy, that's great. But also, know that I prefer, just because that's my taste and my, my sexuality, I prefer male on female. And but actually... I do like Guy and Guy. And I will read a, a, a good male female story don't get me wrong if you have an idea for any one of these fandoms that is that i've listed that's fucking you know guy on girl and you think i might like it send it my way okay. i'll you know i'll let you know if i like it or not or if hey, i'm not you know we might end up having a fan fiction of the week or something yeah one pick for each of us um as for arrow <gasps> Something you guys need to learn about me is I have a huge crush on fucking Colton Haynes. He does, plays he does, right he off. does. We both uh, follow Colton on Twitter, and I frequently set him off and break him when I send him things that Colton has uh, tweeted. Yeah, because um, he's just gorgeous. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I, I didn't like him for a while, honestly. I also had a... I also I saw have him a thing. from Teen Wolf. Yeah, and I've seen some Teen Wolf with him in it, and I didn't really care for him in that. Can I just say how much I love Sia Sorensky and Teen Wolf? I love Dylan O'Brien. Dylan O'Brien. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I do actually like. Uh. Oh my God, the big one. The big wolf. Tyler Holchlin or whatever his name is. Holchlin, yeah, Tyler Holchlin. Holchlin. Who plays? Derek, I think. Derek Hale, there you go, Derek Hale. <laughs> yeah. I like Derek Hale. Um. But I prefer Styles. Because <laughs> he's like the only little human, and I could totally see myself having a, uh, like, supernatural character. Yeah. That would, like, protect um, him all the time. Oh, I will also tell you, our, our lovely watch, uh, viewers, mm. if you wanted to pair one of those characters with a character that's already dead in the series, like, for instance, Oliver Queen with Tommy Merlin, you feel free to bring him back to life. I'm okay with that. Oh, Tommy Merlin. I was like, wait, Because I was so fucking sad when they killed him off. I was actually, I actually sad when they killed him off, too, even though I didn't like him. And I'm actually kind of excited that the new spin-off series that they're doing, The Legends of Tomorrow, is bringing back Sarah Lance as uh, is that the Canary. The... Oh, oh, yeah. Um, I did not care for Canary's actual sister. Oh, you mean, uh, Laurel? Laurel. And what's with that fucking name? I feel like I should go back in time and wear a fucking Laurel wreath on my goddamn head. Um, Laurel, another... Laurel was too flip-floppy and wish-washy for my days. Yeah, I preferred Sarah. I, I really did. I like Sarah. Um, now, another DC series, and this is kind of weird, because they're all, like, younger. Um, hmm. But Gotham. I still have not got into that all the way. I would really love to watch something. I mean, like, read something with, like, a 17 or 8 year old, 18 year old Bruce Wayne mm. and Gordon. Uh, I kind of feel I, like I would honestly, really enjoy that. I am all about that freaking butler dude, Alfred. Oh, Alfred. Alfred. Mm. Um. I, and I as also, I, in, in regards to Gotham, I really like the way they have Alfred, like, they play Alfred, and, like, how he, he is in the show. Especially when he's like, Master Wayne, get the hell down there, from there, blah, blah, and I'm like, he just got well, And there are a couple of times where he's a little bit too harsh, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, um, I've only gotten through, like, the first, maybe the first season, I don't know. Yeah, um... Well, the the first season is the only one that's out so far. Oh, well, I haven't finished that then. I got up to, like, the... 
the Puppet Master one. Oh god. And I don't think I really got past that, because I got distracted with other stuff. Okay, so... Another thing that I like, and... Let you mention this, excuse oh, me. Oh no, Sorry. I got to the part where Penguin ended up kidnapping that one... college guy, and then, like, killing his passenger friend. Oh yeah, that's, that's early them. on. Is it? Mm-hmm, that's early on. Well, like, I know the Toymaker episode happened, the puppet guy. Oh my god, that was really freaky as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. I was playing Minecraft a lot while watching that. So every time I play Minecraft, I randomly think of Gotham. That's kind of cool. Um, I also really like Once Upon a Time. Yes, Once Upon a Time. I'm all if about you... Rumble Still Skin. If you want to bring, Shirt, what are you doing? If you want to bring Sheriff Graham back to life, I'm okay yes, with that. Because exactly. I was really fucking salty when they killed him off. There's um, some serious crying. I'm also like really into the Hatter because he's fucking gorgeous. Yeesh. Um, Bucky. Yeah, Bucky. That said, um, <laughs> I also really like. See, you're way sleepy. better at doing that. What? Uh, con conceal, conceal, conceal it, con consolidating your thoughts. Oh, consolidate, yeah. I try, sometimes like, it kind of goes away from me. And I kind of go, Dude, th um, this video is literally only, oh, actually, we're 31 minutes. Well, continue, well I though. should, I should be able to wrap this up relatively No, don't quickly. worry, go, go for 45 minutes like I did, shit. Um, Sleepy Hollow is really <sighs> fucking good. Yeah, Tom Anything mentioned, with... Tom mentioned Tim? Tim mentioned Tom mentioned? Which is it? Mission? Tom... Tom Mison. Mison. Oh, is it Mison? I didn't fucking know. I never heard of it. Yeah. Um, anything with Ichabod Crane and... And or, um, I think his name is Holly. It's the blonde guy in season two. Um, I'm is all Is that the for... one who ended up betraying him? Like, his bestest best friend who, like, fucked the... What? No, but he's hot too, actually. The, oh, you were talking about the one... I haven't got to season two. I literally stopped because... watching it after a point because Boneyard wasn't into it, and I was just like, blah, 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 depressed about it, because I liked watching it with him. Well, and it starts... It started, rather, um, kind of slow, but it picked up at the end of the first season, mm. and then the second season was, like, really fucking good all the way through. Right. Um, Quick side note, in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm sorting my candy out and picking out the ones that my boyfriend gets from my like the candy that's supposed to be just for me because I don't like a certain flavor and I can't just sit still and do nothing when I make videos. I'm sorry. Um aside from Sleepy Hollow, I would probably read a whole bunch of fan fiction based on that. Um any kind of pairing you wanted to throw at me, I'd be okay with. Mm. Um Grim. Ooh, I was all about that werewolf. Anything, see, I'm not necessarily into Monroe so much, I, but anything... I don't know, something with, about him was just so cute. Anything with Sean Renard or Nick <gasps> Burkhart? Oh, uh, Captain Renard. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. And there's not nearly enough fan fiction for Grim. There not. really isn't. I honestly don't know a lot of people got into him. Got into it in... Well, it's like... It's... Lost... That's like Lost Girl fanfiction. There's not a whole lot of Lost Girl fanfiction either. And I would totally read uh, anything- You kinda don't need to write a lot of Lost Girl fanfiction. That whole fucking show is about sex. Yeah, but I would enjoy it. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Ah, uh, you, you remember that little, like, blurb thing I gave you that one day? For, uh, Dyson and your character? Yeah, and I would pretty much read anything with Bo and Dyson. Male or female. Um, not really a fan of Lauren. I don't like Lauren. I hate her. Honestly, I fucking hate her. And I'm Hell, I'm, I, I'm into Kinsey. I've also recently like gotten kind of an appreciation for Dyson and Vex, which is kind of strange. Vex, I like him. I wouldn't mind seeing um, you know fan fiction with some of my characters in Vex or you know Dyson and Vex, and I also wouldn't mind a little bit of Kinsey and Vex. And there's a disclaimer here. Um. I have a whole lot of characters, like so many that I don't have them any of them written down. They're just all in my head, so I'm not yes. listing any here. But if you had, if you decided like that you wanted to write a fiction, 
you know, tweet us. Don't and say, don't try you know, to, to just eat like emos or anything on YouTube. I know that like you're able to do that somehow, but I really don't know how to fucking access it. Um, and if you wanted to, you know, say write me something in one of the fandoms, you could just send me a tweet and say, hey, I want to write you a fiction in and I wanna use this one of your fandom. Characters. And you know, and then I could. Or hit us could, up on Tumblr. Mostly him. I don't really use Tumblr. And you could actually give me, you know, some sort of way of contacting you, and I could give you details on a character for that, you know, fandom. If and, you, and honestly, if you do, if you do write fanfiction for us using our characters, fucking credit us. Well, yeah, obviously. Because comprehend and, that if you use our fanfiction or our characters and don't credit us, we will blast you in a bad way. Yeah. Um. And, and there's actually. I, I've watched all sorts of shit, like, um, and I just drew a blank. Oh, I would read any kind of Dragon Age fanfiction. Ooh. Dragon Age 1, 2, or 3. Inquisition. Um, I don't know the other ones. Or Inquisition, rather. 1, mm -hmm. 2, or Inquisition. Um, I, I would definitely, definitely read some Inquisition fanfiction. Also, <gasps> Mass Effect. I can't believe I forgot to bring up Mass Effect. Garrus, Garrus. I will say that you cannot <laughs> go wrong. This is woken up. Hi, I'm Matt. Mommy's making a video with, with Uncle Alex. Or Phoenix. Hey, I'm Matt. Phoenix says hi. Hi. He's hugging me right now, like hardcore. <laughs> How you doing, Bubby? I think we should uh, end the video here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pick up the rest. Yeah. We'll, we'll At a later date. Yeah. Mwah. I'm currently I need being to go completely to hugged. I need to go to bed anyway. Real quick, hold on. I'm gonna turn the webcam off on my video itself, but look at this. Aww. I have a new me out. <laughs> Alright, baby. Hold on a second, okay? Let's see the next viewers, yeah? Say, oh, don't pull mommy's shirt down, goodness. Say, bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Say, say, Emmett, Emmett, say subscribe. Bye. No, say subscribe. Mm -mm. Please. <laughs> Please, I love you. <laughs> he did say it. He like set it into my neck. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!